how would you term the New Orleans Saints season to this point, Malcolm? Well, I think, you know, we've come into the season with, with a ton of uh, high expectations. We've got a very, very talented roster and a team that's had a ton of success over the last few seasons. And I think, you know, really had this idea of Super Bowl or bus. Um, but what we've, you know, recognized, and we kind of know going into it, each season has a, a story of its own. Um, and, and so we've been really trying to find our identity. We've had to deal with a ton of adversity like every other team. You know, with guys coming in and out of the roster, whether it's COVID, different different things going on. But I think we're a team that's ascending. You know, each week I feel like we're improving on all phases of the game. Um, and we're still, you know, getting some of those pieces back. Uh, and, and, and that's really the goal. So not looking at the the end goal, but really just competing. And, and I think we're doing that. Obviously, got a huge opportunity against a, a, a divisional opponent. Um, that's that's also playing really really good football. Uh, so you know, for us, we're, we're excited. We we look forward to opportunities to compete, opportunities to measure ourselves um, around the league. Didn't start how we wanted to, but feel like we're heading in the right direction. Well, the Bucks uh, are a team that's going to get Antonio Brown on the field, and I wanted to ask you about that in a second. Um, but you have what appears to be. Uh, a chance to get Michael Thomas back on the field. Do you think he will be out there on Sunday? Not to turn you into a doctor here, but do you think he's going to be out there on Sunday? Yeah, night? I'm not sure. I, I think, you know, everybody, obviously we're a better team when he is. So the, the sooner we can get him on the field, the better. But we also know we want him, you know, for the long run. So it's not one of those things where we want to rush him back, um, especially because we've been, we've been playing well. But as soon as Michael Thomas touches the field, we are a better team. And then during his injury um, stint, there was a conversation um, that he was going to come back, and then he got suspended by the team, hurt after that. Uh, if I can linger just on that suspension by the team, I, I the, the conversation about Michael Thomas, about him maybe being a little bit too much of a red ass, quite frankly, um, certainly within the walls of your building, I imagine you're in a perfect spot to try and counsel him if he's requiring of it, not only because of your experience in the NFL, but you're a fellow Buckeye who can maybe put your arm around him. Is that is that a, a something that you did or have done, Miles? Uh, no, nah, and I don't think it's something that's that's, ne- that's really necessary. He's a guy, you know, who who plays with a chip on his shoulder, and it's not just a on-field persona that's. That's who he is, right? And and that's what we love about him. That's what makes him Michael Thomas. So you know you can't you can't have one without the other. It's just you know he has to understand when and where you know to let those things out and and make sure that that the team is always uh, first. And I, and I think we've we moved past that point a long time ago. But, okay. You know this is what it is. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 